Oh, hello, guys. So you may know or you may see how some people just say I use Arch, by the way. This is some kind of elitism or whatever you want to call it. This is because they are really proud of the distribution they are using. And they are really proud that they could use and install the vanilla Arch Linux because well it wasn't that easy to be installed it's not that hard but it's not easy it's not self-explanatory you have to follow a huge list on the wiki page of arch but this is changed and today i want to show you a little quick how to install arch linux with the script that they do and you will see that even I can install Arch, the vanilla Arch right now. So let's get to the video. Okay, so I have prepared a virtual machine with the latest version of Arch Linux. This is the screen you are met with. Just select the version. Well, basically the default is already selected. Just Select that, press enter and wait for the load to finish. Shouldn't take that much time. And we are here. As you can see, there is no GUI. There is no live environment. This is what you get. Now, why are people get intimidated by this? But that's not the case anymore. I'll show you in a second why. This is the script that they have done, which makes your life so much easier installing Arch Linux. All you have to do right now here is just write down Arch install, press enter, wait a little bit for checking the versions, and this is what you get. So first, install the language. English is perfectly fine for me. The mirrors, just go there, select it. Mirror region. I want to go to United States. See down on the bottom, there is a slash for search. We can certainly do that. And there is United States. Just select that. Come on, don't be like that. Oh. Okay, just look for the region or the mirror you want to choose. For me, I am looking for the United States, which should be somewhere here on the bottom. Yeah, right here. And all you have to do is press the space bar to select it. See the little star where it's glowing over there. This is all you have to do. Just press enter. And go back. Now go for the locales. United States looks okay for me. This configuration. Just go through the every single section here and it's pretty self-explanatory now. Use the best effort default partition layout. Yes, let's do that. Select the disk that you have or that you want or that you want to install the, the Arch Linux on it. For me, it's the second one. Like I said, I'm using a virtual machine for this disk. Just select the disk, press space bar to select it. Press enter. This is the file system that you want to use. I'll go with ext4. This is classic. Disk, disk encryption. I don't really want to do that. Boot loader, you have the choice between grub and lamine, limine, 
I don't know what this means. Just go with the default group, it's okay. You have a swap space, which is true. Yes, default host name. So this is where you select your host name or the name that your computer would be recognized in the network if you are using any networks. I'll just use arch-vb root password put down some really strong and complicated password just remember that password of course strength very weak that's okay this is a virtual machine not a big deal for me user account at a user again i'm gonna put arch-vb just because and password for the user again strong and complicated password not like me here it says again strength very weak that's okay again i like i said this is a virtual machine so don't worry about it not for me <laughs> now you have a user selected and created just confirm and exit go to the profile now select the type of profile i would use a desktop but if you want to use something else or just build up your system from the ground up you have the option of minimal or server or just the xorg i'll go with desktop like i said now you have a few options for desktop environments to choose from uh, which one I'm gonna go with? Yeah, let's go with KD. I like KD for this. Just select it with the spacebar again. Press enter. Go to the graphics driver. You have the option here for NVIDIA. If you are using NVIDIA, the open source novo driver again for the nvidia or the proprietary drivers for nvidia i'm gonna go with the virtual box and open source greater sddm that's fine this is coming from the selection of the kd desktop just go to the audio server uh, let's go with wherever you want i'm gonna choose pipe wire here Kernels, this is another important one. The default Linux kernel is installed or is selected by default. You have the choice of Linux Harden, Linux LTS or Linux Zen kernel. I'm gonna go with Linux LTS. I want both of those installed on my system. Additional packages, this is something that you want to install during the installation of the distro, although you can do that after. They give you the choice here. For example, I want to install Git. I want to install Firefox. What else do I want? Vim maybe. And that's it. That's all I want. Network configuration is next. I always select the network manager. If you want to do something else, you can. You can manually configure your system after. But especially for new users, I do really recommend choose the network manager. Now the time zone is UTC. I'm looking for New York. This is what I want. Just select that. Automatic time sync. True, that's already there. And optional repositories. I tend to install both of multi-wipe and testing just because. 
now you have the option to save the configuration that you have just used or you can use it later on another installation this is just because if you want to install multiple installs of the arch linux i'm not gonna do that just click install and click enter down on the bottom you can see just press enter to continue let's go do that and this is where the installation starts as you can see it's so much easier nowadays to install arch linux it's not like before following this huge list of guides how to do every single step and do it yourself although if you wanna really really understand and learn linux systems this is a very good way to do following this guide and installing the vanilla arch linux the way it is intended it's really good for this purpose but if you have no time to waste you have no time to play with it this is a perfectly good solution to install the vanilla arch now let's wait for the installation and boot to our new system this may take a few minutes so i'm gonna pause the video here and i'll come back when it's done i'll see you in a bit guys all right and the installation has finished it took actually a few minutes but that's okay now would you like to throw into the newly created installation and perform post installation configuration the default is yes but i usually tend to do just no this is up to you and the installation completed without any errors you may reboot now that's excellent let's go and do that just press reboot and press enter all right we are at the logging page of arch linux let's get it load now we have a plasma wayland session by default just put down your password and you are already on your brand new arch linux system all right let me just fix the resolution a little quick all right that's it that's all you have to do and it actually took like no more than 15 minutes it's pretty easy it's not any complication like before you have arch linux installed on your system pretty awesome so <laughs> that's all i wanted to show you today i'm gonna leave you for your holiday preparations and i'll see you guys in the next one bye